boys and girls. My name is Firefighter Bob. Are you ready to go? Let's get started. Well, if it isn't my good friends Tommy and Billy. Hey guys, would you like to see all the things that go on here today at the firehouse? You bet, Firefighter Bob. But today we have to be just that safe, okay? Okay, let's get going. Look, boys, there's Spot. When we use ropes, in case we had to save ourselves from a fire or save somebody else from a fire, we can attach these harnesses to a rope and lower ourselves or lower someone else to safety. Our shoes off that we wear at the firehouse, and we slip on the fire boots. They help protect us from, from steam and water burns as well as from uh, touching anything that was hot or sharp. It goes on like this. And it has a belt to go around my waist. You know, sometimes firefighters can spend hours just waiting around the firehouse. They're always ready to go, but they never quite know just exactly when somebody's going to call for help. It can be nice and quiet, and then suddenly... Oh, there's a tank crew! Well, there's an emergency now. Oh, Somebody's smoke called smoke for help, and the firefighters are jumping into action. Let's go, guys. I thought firefighters only put out fires. You mean they do other things, too? Sure. Firefighters can help people trapped in cars or anybody who needs emergency first aid. Look, Firefighter Bob, there's Spot, the fire dog. What does he do around the firehouse? Well, Spot's a Dalmatian. Come on, Come on, Spot. Spot. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. It's so quiet. Did all the firefighters go home? <laughs> no, Billy. We firefighters have to stay here all the way to the end of our shift. We stay right here at the firehouse. In fact, sometimes we even sleep here if we have an extra long shift that day. That was great, Firefighter Bob. We want to be firemen. What can we do? Well, you're both still a little young yet. But in a few years, who knows? We've learned a lot here today, but now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> 